Hi everyone, it's Paper Milkshake and I'm back with another video which is a collaboration with In Love Art Shop or In Love Art Studios for some dyes that she sent me to play with and I'm really sorry I'm still in my sleeping gown but I just woke up, had the most beautiful sleep in and thought I'd get up and film the projects that I made yesterday and this tie set that I played with is basically a set of three bag toppers and they're super duper cute. They come in three sizes and basically there is a large and it's got like a row of gorgeous hearts down the bottom there. Really really pretty and a medium size here and a little tiny baby size so you don't order them separately it's all part of the same set and they're really really cute and there's lots of fun things you can do with bag toppers you can use these to gift jewelries for friends so they can act like a little label at the top of jewelries that you might want to give to your friends or that you can use them for sequins that you want to gift your pen pals uh embellishments bows whatever you like they're just super versatile and i use lots of bag toppers in my crafting and I loved using the t uh, three different sizes for today's projects. And I am actually going to firstly show you the bag toppers I made. And then I'm going to show you um, how I actually apply or add the bag toppers to my packaging. So I decided to use the confetti collection because it's such a fun party collection for this project. And here you see I've used that gorgeous tassel paper. I'm literally down to my like last um, confetti pad. I don't have many sheets left in that pad. And I have been like hoarding this tassel paper for the longest time. So basically the bag toppers are foldable. The die has a perforation in the middle so that you've got like a little handle at the top. And this one says birthday girl. So really cute how this one turned out. So that's using the large bag topper. Super cute. And then I move on to this little large one here and it says celebrating on your special day. I just think they turn out so cute. I love the black and white. It really makes the pink and the glitter pop. And pretty much everything here is from confetti except for the heart and the jemmies. They were just um, some leftover embellishments or just some bits and pieces I had in my stash. This one turned out really pretty too. So it's the same black and white plant paper or leaf design. And it just says, love you. And they're kind of chunky. So I need to stick that one down a little bit better. Um, yeah, really like the colors from the confetti collection. And I'm kind of really, really sad that I don't have a lot left in confetti. But so be it. Some of the older Maggie Holmes collections are real gems. Now, unfortunately, that beautiful... Uh, tassel paper is more or less all covered up here but I love how they showed up look at that gorgeous floral design from confetti just so pretty and just to just for sturdiness I added all these statements onto some cardstock before sticking them down before cutting them out and sticking them down but these words are from the a confetti cut apart I got 12 by 12 um, yeah I just think they're really really fun and festive Okay, and now to the medium size bag toppers. I made two of them. I think they're so cute. That beautiful brown wood grain paper is from Confetti as well. So pretty and just says happy day. And I love that like beautiful blue or teal and the pink. Okay, and then the next medium one was something a little bit different. So I got lots of elements from the confetti, including that beautiful like rainbow stripey kind of um, banner at the back. And then I had this confetti gold bow lying around. So yeah, I really like how that turned out. It's very unisex. It says birthday boy. So it just makes such a cute little back top on that note paper. Super cute. And then now onto the teeny weeny tiny ones. These are really, really cute. Look at that. It just says love. <laughs> See, that just gives you a, an idea of the scale. They're so super small. And it takes no time to cut these out, guys. It's really, really quick to cut these out using the die cut. And I just use my manual big shot. 
die cutter for that. And this one says, hooray. Because they're so small, you got to keep it really simple and don't overload it with embellishments. Um, and just grab the tiniest stickers and embellishments that you have. So, last night I made, um, for the large back toppers, I made some tags, some beautiful confetti tags. Using lots of cutter parts and whatever thickers, stickers I had. And I just really love how pastel this one is. So, I am going to choose a bag topper to attach onto that. And I think I like... Um, so I'm going to just move that down. So all I've done is put it in the right size cello bag. And I'm just going to move that down to the bottom of the bag. Sorry, I think my three-year-old's having a field day playing with her uh, daddy outside. And all you got to do is stick it on. And all I generally do is I grab my little mini stapler and I just literally staple that on. It's so easy grab your stapler you can do this in other ways if you want you can um you can use some double-sided sticky tape you can use some foam tape but i like to use my stapler this one's a little bit shonky every time i use this i'm just going to give it ah i'm out of staples <laughs> be right back guys okay just murphy's law had to run out of staples while i was filming didn't i <laughs> okay so then i just pop a second one this is just how i do um, back toppers, I put a second one on there, and this stapler is giving me grief, isn't it? Yes, let's try that again. Oh, wow, guys, I don't think today is my lucky day at all. The stapler is just not wanting to do its thing. Let's try that one more time. Third time lucky. Let's go. Bit better there we go so there you go that's like your embellishment all packaged up i think that turned out really really cute let's just move this along to the side there i really like how that turned out so pretty all packaged up ready to go to my pen pals so bag toppers are really really fun and i do a lot of bag toppers on my channel I do a lot of project shares for bag toppers but i don't often show you how i apply them so i thought this was a really good chance to actually show you guys how i apply them this one's so pretty as well i love the vintage ice cream party look on that it says happy day and pretty much this whole thing is from confetti except for the glitter jemmies everything else is from confetti really beautiful little parcel there okay so again you want to grab your um bag topper just gonna pop that on there okay and just as before we're just gonna go punch and punch there we go sorry I went a bit off screen then our second one cute little bag topper really 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 cute okay and then I made this gorgeous tag another very sort of vintage confetti looking one and I've added some and a strip of sequins at the top okay so I think this one I'm gonna grab this one that says birthday girl love that such cute little presents and what i'll do now is um now that these are all packaged up for ready to go for a, a, a special birthday girl and or boy i can basically um add these to the happy mail that i'm going to send to my pen pal just pop that on top and there's your kind of birthday card or birthday tag gift tag sorted so cute i love that so pretty and dimensional gorgeous 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 and the last one I really like the black and white of this one it turned out so cute super cute it's another tag 300 GSM cardstock there and I've got my last bag topper right there ready to go pop it on line up the top of your bag toppers line up the top of the bag toppers with the cellophane
and punch. There we go. Super cute, a little bit lopsided, doesn't really matter, adds to the sort of cute feel to it. I don't mind it at all. So there's my four large back toppers all applied to their respective projects. I'm gonna have a sip of my coffee. On to the middle sized one. So with the middle sized, all I've done is I've doubled up the cello bag to make sure my gifts actually fit because I didn't have any smaller cello bags on me, unfortunately. So all you do is you grab your back topper as the four, stick it on top, line up the top of your cello bag with the top of the back topper itself. Make sure it's straight. Grab my hole punch. It's one. I probably didn't put those uh, foam dots in a good spot for stapling, but oh well. There you go. How cute is that? So sweet, just this happy day. Lots of fun little embellishments for my pen pal to play with. Foam hearts, pom poms, and that gorgeous sweet story gumball chipboard as well. And I'll try and get through this last one pretty quickly. Okay, bag topper on. Just a bag of sequ beautiful sequins mix I've got in here. I have to do this one off screen because I don't actually have any room to add staples so this one I'm probably going to actually add um, uh, double-sided sticky tape to put that down okay but you get the idea and lastly I've got my teeny mini tiny ones the teeny weeny bag toppers so cute these are just adorable I love these they're just the cutest thing. I swear, when you do crafting, the tinier something is, the cuter it is. Now, you might not even need two staples for this. Having a think about it, I might actually just do one staple. That's popped off. Perfect. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted. Give it a staple. Stick that back on. And voila. How cute is that? I love how that turned out, actually. I love how it's sort of thin at the top and fat on the bottom. So cute, so, so cute. And we're down to our last one. I've just got some of that beautiful pink sequins trim. And so all I'm doing is adding that on top. And I'm just gonna go pop. And we're done. Little heart came off, and that's all right. I think I like it better down the bottom there, anyway. So it's a hooray! So that's it, guys. There's all our beautiful bag toppers applied to the projects, and these are ready to send to my pen pals. How cute are they? So super cute. I'm not going to lift that one up because that one hasn't been added on yet. And I just love how they turned out. Hope you guys like this project. These projects, I have 20% off uh, discount code for my subscribers. So make sure you use the code below and enjoy shopping. The In Love Art Shop dies is super easy to use, super fun to play with. There are the dies again. You get a real bang for your buck because you get three dies in the one set. And look how much fun. Um, uh, do check out my Instagram and YouTube. I've got lots of other inspiring videos and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye guys.